Well, hello, welcome to Gordon's Nursery. I am, I'm not in the area where I normally paint. I, um, I'm gonna work with my Genesis paint. I was gonna do air dry on my um, Ping Lao kit. Um, guys, I am just like beyond stressed, but I'm gonna make it work. So I'm starting with my, um, I'm starting with my red uh, paint. I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm, I'm still undecided, but I'm gonna do my red. I'm gonna do red right quick, and um, I'm gonna do some, what do you call it, some um, modeling, and then, not a lot, but I'm gonna do some modeling, and then I'm gonna go into, um, Some, let me try to see. Some, um, uh, oh, this one is backwards. Okay. So I'm going to go into some red modeling. Um, I, uh, just kind of quietly work when I do work and I it's a lot of light in here so I can see better um, that was one of the reasons that I have it here so I'm recording on two different things because I'm not sure how this is gonna flow so I'm just using my red paint right now Not that fresh need one to mix and I have one to mix actually make sure my brush is right I'm doing a light because I'm not sure where I'm going with this one I just know I didn't want a real dark and I didn't want a real light so I want that in-between caramel look. Uh, I'm I'm pretty good at getting to car caramel and biracial, but I wanted a more caramel color where, the reason why I want that is because that would be the only baby that I have in my collection that is that color. More almost like jade color. My jade, which is the uh, Saskia kit. So that's where I'm at with that. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just trying to make sure I got enough red on here. Because once I go, I can't, I'm not going back. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, be on here long doing this. I just wanted to come on here for a brief moment, show a little bit of. my coloring right, yeah you can see it my coloring on here so where's my brush over ah i got it way over there okay i sit you way over there actually i need you so yeah other than that guys this is all i'm doing and i'm just gonna pounce it on my sponge and yeah you look at my sponge you're like oh Baby, let me tell you something about my sponge. And I'm pretty sure some people do it. But like, our sponges are cheap. They are. My thing is, is that I don't want to touch your face, but I have to eventually. So, I'm sorry it's too far out, but I can only do it here, okay? So, I'm just going to. Okay. 
and you won't be able to see it because um, the fact that you can just see where the water the basic the water of it is and that's pretty much where I put my modeling nut I will probably go back and put a little bit more actually I think I will put some brush I have excuse me I did brush her off for some reason she just look like she left bo -bo. so I like that but I know I'm gonna have to go darker because like I said before she's gonna be darker and normally I will I washed her last she got washed the night day before so she's kind of sitting um, she was kind of sitting and I didn't um, I want you on there and this so this is something that I do because I don't like to go back but you do what you like and I'm just sitting here talking to y'all rambling because I just need a little company And the thing is, is when we do these styles, we we try to make sure we do it right. See, now this one has a little bit more color to it. So, I, oh, I hate this. So you can see a little bit in the light over here. You can kind of see it. But yeah, so it's there like that. I don't know if you can see it. Anywho, I'm going to take this side and go in and tap some of that out. And I should have had my dang on apron on. Yeah, she's gonna um, definitely um, have some colors. I gotta go back and do that other leg. I wanna do everything exact so that it's not different. I mean, everything on our body doesn't match all the way up. I feel funny. So, I'm just doing a hit in this type of thing on our arm because I also wanted to look somewhat like capillaries on it along with 
Um, like I said, I didn't want it to be long. Um, and that's just going into my red and then I'll do some blues maybe, depend on what I will do. I just don't want it to look crazy. Because like I told you before, she's not going to be dark, dark. But she's not going to be light, light either. I, I make those quite often. So my challenge is to see how far I can go as far as making her. Um, a caramel in between type color. So this is something that I do with my dolls all the time. Um, I'll sit and I'll paint uh, for the Genesis paint that is. And then, you know, I'll go and let them dry. And I'm usually, honestly, I'm usually doing more than one baby because it works out best for me. When I do more than one, and then I peel off, and then I end up going to, uh, I'll take like, I'll, if I'm painting one down, and it is supposed to be, um, And another thing that I don't like, and I know we all don't like it, is that I can't stand those little, the squares on the, on the, um, the, from the, from the sponge. And so, Hey, girl. Now it may not show up, but at least I covered it, and that's my key. And I usually wear gloves. I'm feeling some type of way about her. Like I really want, cause she's gonna be rolling with me. Cause Ebony's not here, guys. Ebony, if you haven't um, seen Facebook, my Instagram, Ebony is in Michigan. I was supposed to go to the Dow show, and that's when I was going to pick her back up, and I'm not going. So, my cousin may have Ebony for a minute, um, and I wanted to, I wanted to meet up with some of my Dolly sisters in, in Michigan, but... I didn't, which would have been cool. Um, and because they have a nice collection, I'd have been pr probably kind of tempted to leave Ebony there with them too. Just because I, that's home. And I know I'm coming back. Let me make sure that's nothing on there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of modeling on her chest as well. Um, not a lot, but enough because do we have vessels in our chest? Of course we do. So that's what I like. Um, And I guess you can see where I'm putting it at because the spots is wet. So, and even though it doesn't, it looks like, oh my gosh, she's ruining it. Put so much on there. Well, it's to make sure it looks 
alive. I want it to look like flesh, not plastic. Or vinyl, however you want to call it. Because like I told you guys before, she is going to have a color that may hide those things. So you can kind of see that there. So, yeah. It looks blotchy now, but baby, wait till I get it together. It's going to look a lot different. And so, there we have it. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish you guys could see this. It's really nice. I think one of the things I like, I like painting toddlers now. Um, due to the fact that I painted, um, I'll put some more on my doll's legs here. Um, the fact that I like um, painting them because the canvas, limbs, body, I don't know, whatever, it's a little bit larger. So you get to, you get to do a little bit more. You get to do a little bit more with them. So you get to paint a little bit more. Now, it would be really cool if I was just able to, to just um, that's all I had to do, but unfortunately it's not. So guys, I'm going to stop the video. It is getting long. I appreciate you guys. Um, I, I got to do the other leg, but I appreciate you guys coming on. I will, maybe I'll do another, another one with the, me adding another layer on. All right. Other than that, until next time, be blessed, take care of each other and hit a thumbs up. Leave us a comment and hit a bell if you haven't gotten the bell and uh, subscribe. Thanks again for joining Gordon's Nursery. All right. Bye-bye.